my crafty friends, I finally figured out how to make this. This here is a customized stemless wine glass. I'm going to teach you how to customize your, your pitcher on glassware using vinyl with the Cricut. First, I am going to insert a picture of this lovely mister of mine. Please excuse all these other pictures. <laughs> I'm going to use this one right here because I like it. Um, I'm going to remove the background, and I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is the way I know. Okay, so what I did was remove background, picture format, remove background. I am going to click mark areas to remove, and I'm going to get all this extra stuff on out of my way that I don't want, like this car seat. I'm just going to keep that lovely little face there. I'm going to take everything else, get rid of everything else. All right, now I'm going to click keep changes. Now I'm going to save that as picture. I'm going to save it in my crafty mama, which I already have it here. His name's Eugene. I'm going to save it under Eugene. And I'm going to hit yes for saving it already exists. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into my Cricut design space. I'm going to upload new picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to convert this picture into an SVG. So I'm going to upload this picture here. Go into Crafty Mama, which is me. Click on Eugene. And here they have filters. And I'm going to choose filter number four because I like this one. And it shows a lot of details. But they have um, different filters you can choose from depending on the look you're going for. That's invert number three. It has the clean lines, but I want to get all that facial hair and everything. So I'm going to go with number four. <clears throat> Once you have it down here, you hit download images. It's going to download into my download files. I go into Cricut and I hit upload images and I go and look for it. Hit browse, downloads, and search for my file. Here it is. I hit open. Um, here you can save the image name so that you can find it later. You can add tags. If you have lots of images in your Cricut um, cloud, but his name's Eugene, so I'm going to save it under Eugene. I don't have... And hit save. All right, I have it twice because I uploaded earlier. So I'm going to click Eugene, hit insert image. Here we have uh, many different cutouts, but I don't need to keep everything. So what I'm going to do is stretch this to the size that I want. And I think five inches should be good for the glass that I have. So I'm going to save it right there. And then I'm going to ungroup. Now that I ungroup, I'm going to get rid of all these little extra pieces that I don't want. I click, right click, and then I hit delete. Delete. I can also go over here on this side of my window. I can click, and then I can use this eye icon and to remove the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this facial hair that I don't want. I want to keep this picture as simple as possible. Okay, and I think that's everything that I want to delete. Now, because this picture will cut out in multiple pieces, I have to, just like this, as you see, those are two separate pieces. This is a separate piece. So I'm going to undo the that. And we have to select and highlight the whole picture. And we weld it all together. Once it's weld together, we can hit make it. And we can cut and print. I send it to the Cricut and it will print out and I will get back to you once it's printed out.